it's getting closer to Hope's due date. We want to check on her and see how she's doing. And we have a storm coming in. And we have normally found our goats have their babies when we have a storm coming. Or me. Mm -hmm. Or you, yeah. That's true. You had a living <laughs> during a crazy storm. So I don't know if it's the barometric pressure that changes that gets all that stuff going, but we're supposed to be getting snow tonight and tomorrow. So my guess is within the next day or two, Hope's going to have her baby with this weather front coming in. So we need to check on Hope and see how she's doing today. You girls seem all rowdy. Hope, what are you doing? Her udder is filling up and getting more milk in it, so that's one sign that she's getting closer. And the goats have seemed a little bit more crazy today. Right. How are her ligaments? The ligaments are still there. Are they? They changed it all? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. And she has been a little bit... She's staying know. closer to the barn. And yeah. Staying a little secluded from all the other goats, so... So we're keeping a real close eye. She's been a little talkative too. A little bit. Her back end looks a little swollen, so... And we don't want to put her in the stall unless we know, you know, it's really getting closer because she likes to be out here. Goats are herd animals. They don't like being separated from the herd. So we don't want to put Hope in the birthing stall too soon because that could stress her out if she's by herself without anybody else. So we're just going to keep an eye on her for the rest of the day today and we'll see how she is. Maybe we'll put her in the birthing stall tonight with another goat. We'll have to see. What do you think, Hope? You're going to have your babies today or tomorrow? Stop. Leave each other alone. Huh? What do you think? It's not her due date yet. Nope, she still has a few more days. A few more days, so. For her, otter definitely has gotten bigger. Oh yeah, her otter's filled up. Went to the Home Depot and I picked up some rough sawn boards for the shipping container cabin and also we need to build a hay feeder for Hope. She's going to be giving birth any day now and we don't have a good hay feeder in the birthing stall so I picked up a couple extra boards and I thought we could try to make something. I don't have the plans <laughs> of this build. I have a design in my head and I like building from my head. I just find it fun. Oh, here come the goats. I find it a fun challenge trying to build from just plans in my head. So we're gonna see what we can come up with today for this hay feeder. All right, let's see what we can come up with. Thank you. 
I'll have to wait till Gina comes out. We'll hang this up, figure out where she wants it, what location. But I figure we can put a flake of hay in here. It's at an angle so it'll rest in place. A little bit will fall out in here. And if we want to put some feed, we can put alfalfa pellets, whatever we want in here. And they got a little food trough too. And hopefully whatever hay falls out of here, will just fall right in this trough. I think we better hang up the hay feeder. You never know, we're gonna need it. Look at all that gardening stuff you need to move up. You need to move it to your greenhouse. They got your shelves and everything. Mm -hmm. now. Slowly. That's gonna be a perfect spot for babies to lay under. Oh, yeah. One more in the center so it'll hold the babies. Are you gonna have babies today? You never talk. The chickens are talking back to you, Hope. Come on, Hope, we'll get you in the birthing stall. Up to you, girl. Let's go before the other goats come over. There you go. We change our mind quickly, don't we? We sure do. Look, you get your own little luxury suite. Come here. Come here, come here. You're never talkative like this. It's been a few hours since Hope's been down here. And we have a camera right there so we can watch her from the house. We've been noticing her pouring more and acting like she's getting closer and closer. How's she doing? Talking. She's talkative? Yeah, and she's got some more. Stuff. I wonder if she's gonna have them today. Is this gonna be like Buttercup and just have babies, or is it gonna be like Willow and it was a few days? Right. I guess time's gotta tell. I'm not gonna sleep. I wake up and keep checking on you. <laughs> no. She says, I don't know what I want. I feel like this has changed since, just since we've been in there. Our sides are sinking in, the babies yeah. are dropping. Getting ready to have them, Hope? I'm not even kidding. No, it has dropped quite a bit. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in a little bit to check on you. And we'll be keeping an eye on you though, don't you worry. It's been about two hours since we went down and checked in on Hope. We've been keeping an eye on her on the monitor and she's been up and down, up and down, not making any noise, but curious to see if she's advanced any further or if she's just eating her hay and lying around. I got all of our birthing supplies right here with us in this tote, so let's see, let's see what's going on. You getting ready to have them babies? Or are you just lounging around? Ligaments are a little squishy. She's getting close. She 
She's not in full labor yet, but she's getting closer. Her sides are definitely indented in. Keep an eye on her. We'll keep an eye on you. Yeah. Her udder is nice and full. I think it's gonna be tonight. I'll let her hang out and just chill. She's doing good by herself right now, so we're just gonna let her be, have her space and do her thing. And we'll keep checking on her with the camera constantly. And then we'll keep coming back and forth. So we'll check in with you guys in a little bit. We gotta feed the goats their evening dinner and lock them up and check in on Hope. She's quiet. Says I am comfy. She loves comfy. Mm -hmm. I like my new hay feeder. I got some nice warm straw bedding. I got some babies coming. Do you feel our ligaments, Olivia? No, I haven't felt them yet. They're still there, but they're getting squishier. Do you see where your brain is? Look. No, Bobby. So we have to have a rubber flap over the feeder, otherwise the goats poop in their food till they go under it. And they'll get in there and eat. Huh. Do you like everybody staring at you? <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep an eye on you in the video. We'll feed back down in a couple of hours. Give me an eye, I'm gonna keep an eye. No, I'm gonna You keep are an until eye. you go to bed and then I'm gonna be up. Checking. Mm -hmm. Checking, checking. Sleep with one eye open. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock at night. I thought we'd come back down here one more time before we try to get some sleep and check in on Hope. See how she's doing. Hey girl. How you doing? You sleeping? We'll be back down in a little bit. If you don't know who Hope is, Hope is our goat that we got from Weedman Reap in Arizona two years ago, and she was rejected by her mother, Tilly. So it'll be interesting to see how Hope does with her babies. Give me the sucker. Yeah. Okay. We'll get down here just in time, Hope.
Ready to push? Had her second one. That's a big one too. Good girl. Are you a hard or what? Come on. Good girl, Hope. Good job. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Good you get your baby. It's got white on its ears too. Oh yeah, look at that. Hope has pretty long ears. Oh, you're a good mom. You're such a good mom. It's a little after 2 a.m. Both of Hope's babies have eaten. She's passed her placenta. We're gonna go back inside, get some rest, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, modern steaders. I wanna say it's the next morning, but I know it's not. It's about five and a half hours after we went back up to the house last night. So it's the same day, just the normal time of the day. Right. So we've been keeping an eye on Hope on our phones through the camera we have down at the barn. And her and her babies are doing good. Now we need to go check in on them and do all of our other animal chores this morning. With our eyes half open. Yes. <laughs> we were just a little tired this morning. It was a long night. But it all went well. It did. It went really good. And now we got to figure out what she had for babies too. Oh yeah, and it snowed while we were sleeping. are all nice and cleaned off. You're awful cute. Nice and dry. <laughs> the second one's a little bit smaller than the first one, but not much. Mm -hmm. 
Good morning, little ones. You sure are cute. Yes, you are too. Is that the first one that was born? Yep. And that one is a boy or a girl? A girl. A little girl. Mm -hmm. It's got the little white on the top, just like Hope has. And it's got the brown on its face, like Hope's mother Tilly has. And she has blue eyes like Hope. She's got blue eyes too? Yep. Nice. And the white on her ears like Hope. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. You're you got fine. a little white on your head too. And now this one is a boy or a girl? A girl. Another, another girl. Another girl. Two healthy girls, Hope. Yes. We were hoping for one doe and one little buckling, so we could have kept the buckling for breeding. But we got two healthy girls, Hope. That's perfect. Huh. Girl. We thought we were only going to have one. It took I know. so long for the second. There was an hour in between the two. Huh, Hope. You took a while. You wanted to make sure we stayed up last night, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. It felt like forever. Seems like every time we have our goat babies, we always have weather like this. It's got something to do with the pressure change or something in the air, huh, Hope? Never fails. She's like, it's uh, yucky. You put me in a nice warm stall, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you keeping an eye on Hope and her babies for us, Figaro? I know you're the protector. Yeah. Nothing's gonna happen with you around, huh, mister? Well, we are so excited that Hope had her babies and all went well. It was a long morning or early morning for us. So we are running on a little bit less sleep than normal. And I'm going to go ahead and cook supper now. I can't believe it's already that time. So what I'm doing is just have some pineapple juice. I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom of this pan and then I'm gonna put my ham and put some more pineapple juice on top just a little bit and i'm just gonna bake it i usually will put it in a pan and fry it. i'm like let me just bake this so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm just gonna just pour a little bit in here just to cover the bottom i'm gonna put it in here and then i'm just going to i don't know if this is gonna help or not but it seems like it would i'm just going to poke it And I have the oven on 375. I am going to give a shot at making my own flavored rice. We used to like to buy the boxes with a flavoring in it. Um, I'm trying to stay away from that. So if any of you have a really good easy recipe for flavored rice, just some rice and some seasoning, that's good, something simple that you can have as a side, let me know. So I have two tablespoons of butter in here and I'm just gonna melt it. I just added a cup of white rice in here so I'm just gonna saute that out of my butter. Now I have that sauteed, I'm gonna add some spices. So I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of paprika, a quarter teaspoon of basil, and a quarter teaspoon of thyme. Give that a stir, and then I'm going to add a cup of chicken broth and a little bit less than a cup of water. Add my water. I turn it up. Just 
sister. It's at a slight boil, so I'm just gonna turn it down to low, put the cover on, set my time for 20 minutes, and get my Brussels sprouts ready. I think we're all a little extra tired tonight. It'll be early bedtime for us to catch up on some of our sleep. Early bedtime. <laughs> or at least not get woken up so early. Right. But it was fun. Dear Lord, thank you for the wonderful day. Man, has it been an amazing day today. So eventful. It's awesome that Hope had two healthy babies. We weren't sure at first if she was just going to have one or two. There was an hour in between the two kids being born. It was pretty exciting and we were a little nervous because we didn't know what was going on. But we we're glad it's we're glad she had two healthy babies that everything went well. We are exhausted. It's time for us to go to bed. Uh, it's snowing out guys right now, so I'm not sure how much snow we're gonna have when we, we wake up in the morning. A little tongue twisted from being tired. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, it really helps. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres. Bye.